In this video, we're going to complete example three. We need to convert the following president's table into a network diagram. So first of all, I'm going to give myself a bit of room to do this. And we need to draw a vertex, which stands for the start of our project. When we look at the first two activities, activities A and B, we can see that they have no immediate predecessors meaning that these two activities need to come out from the start vertex and we label these edges as edge A and edge B with an arrow to show the direction we're going. So let's tick them off. Remembering that we don't complete the edge until later, so we don't draw a vertex until later. Now looking at activities C and D, we can see that they both have the same immediate predecessor, the immediate predecessor of A. So in order for those edges to be drawn, we first need to complete activity A. We'll do that by drawing a vertex. And both activities C and D come out from that vertex. So we'll tick them off because they have been drawn. Now moving on to activity E, we can see that that comes after activity B. So we need to complete activity B by drawing a vertex and then draw activity E. And we'll just tick that off. Now moving on to activity F, it comes after activity D. So we'll finish activity D with the vertex and activity F comes after that. Next activity G comes after activity E. So we'll complete activity E with the vertex and then activity G comes out from there. Now looking at activity H we can see that we've got two immediate predecessors, activities C and G. That means that these two edges need to connect up at the same vertex. And you might see that that's going to cause a bit of an issue because in order to do that, we're going to be blocking off activity F. So I can connect them and draw activity H, but that's going to cause problems later on, especially when you look at the very last activity here, activity I, you can see that it comes after activities F and H. Because activity F is trapped, there's no way we can bring this edge out and connect it to the same vertex that H connects to. So how are we going to fix this problem? Well, I'll rub off my mistake here because there's no way you can trap an edge like that and I'm just going to observe my diagram for a little while and I can see that this would work a lot better if activities C and D were swapped around. It would work better if I had activities D then F at the top and activity C below. So I'm going to just make some corrections here. I'm going to swap activities C and D around and I know that activity F needs to come after activity D so I just need to move it up here. So we'll finish activity D and have activity F up the top here. So now when we look at activity H it's a lot easier for C and G to join at the same vertex. In fact, I could probably keep edge C as a straight line here. And then activity H comes out from this point. Excellent. Now moving on to activity I we can see that it has the immediate predecessors F and H and it's not too difficult to join F and H to the same vertex. 
In fact, because I like to keep edges as straight lines, I'm going to rub out edge F and, go, and I'm going to redraw it as a straight line connecting to the end of edge H. And then from there, we have edge I. All right, so we've ticked off every activity now, meaning we've completed our project. So we need to put down our finish vertex. And that concludes example three. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.